Thank you, Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Tourism, Culture and Sport. This week is Ontario Heritage Week, and yesterday we had the members of the Architectural Conservancy of Ontario here with us in the Legislature. As a All members have the right to ask questions in silence. Okay. As a past president of ACO Cambridge, I'm proud to have worked with the ACO. The Architectural Conservancy of Ontario was incorporated in 1933. They had a vision to preserve the best of Ontario's architecture and natural areas that continues today. Preserving our heritage boosts tourism and provides economic benefits such as revenue from the film industry. Murdoch's Mysteries chose my riding of Cambridge as a filming location. Heritage tourists stay longer, spend more, and this is a growing area of tourism. One year, the annual Heritage House Tour in my riding of Cambridge brought in Question. 600 visitors from around the province. Speaker, could the minister please tell the members of this house about Ontario Heritage Week? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. I'd want to uh, first start by uh, wishing all Ontarians who are celebrating uh, Chinese New Year a uh, Happy New Year. And uh, I also want to thank the member from Cambridge for her, uh, her advocacy around heritage here in the province of Ontario. Heritage Week is an, an amazing opportunity to put a spotlight on promoting and protecting our province's heritage, and I'm glad the member from Cambridge has embraced these values. Uh, heritage Week uh, in Ontario started on Monday and will go until uh, Sunday, February 22nd, and throughout communities across this great province, uh, there will be many different events, so I encourage all members to get out there and support their communities as they uh, celebrate the heritage here in the, in the province of Ontario. And I know the MPP from Kingston, the island, attended a great event uh, this week uh, to kick off Ontario Heritage Week. Uh, the event took place at the Ryerson Athletic Centre, which uh, yes, we know is a historical site where the Toronto Maple Leafs won eight Stanley Cups, and, uh, and I hope all members have the opportunity to, uh, to celebrate Thank this you. amazing week. Thank you, Minister. I know that each year there's a theme chosen to be able to celebrate on Ontario's Heritage Week. When I was president of ACO one year, we asked the Municipal Heritage Advisory Committee and City Council to designate the Shade Street Arena in Cambridge under Part 4 of the Ontario Heritage Act. Not only was it the oldest operating arena in North America, it was beautifully built in 1922 with yellow brick, with a roof full of skylights to allow in the natural light. But one of the reasons it was designated was its culturally significant history. Hockey player Bobby Hull played in this arena, and Toller Cranston, the famed figure skater, made his name while he skated in the Shade Street Arena. The citizens in my riding of Cambridge are very proud of our sports heritage. Speaker, could the minister please tell the members of this house about the theme for this year's Ontario Heritage Week? Sure. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And again, I'd like to thank the member from Cambridge for her question. The theme for this, week's, uh, this year's Heritage Week is Play, Endure, Inspire, Ontario's Sport Heritage, and it's a celebration of our athletic past here in the province of Ontario, and it's a reminder of our sport legacy that's enriched our province, and it's provided inspiration to countless Ontario athletes, and it's given us, Mr. Speaker, a very strong foundation to which to grow and develop sport and athleticism here in the province of Ontario. This year's theme is especially fitting because, as we know, in four and a half months, we will have the Pan Am Pair Pan Am Games that will take place in the GTA and throughout uh, the province of Ontario. And our athletes will be in the spotlight this summer, and I know that they'll build Ontario's strong sport heritage and also make some history of their own. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.